Yeah. Oh, do. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for showing up to another Vlogtober day for <coughs> me, Jeff Journalist. All right. So what going on is today's entries are a little bit different. Uh, I wasn't able to shoot anything today. Vlog, nothing. Challenge, nothing. Why a lot of work was being done today? I don't know. Both at home and on the road. But they are road that poor coolant and change aisle so on and so forth just only for work that go on today so I never really get to shoot it could even get to vlog it because at night I'm a mosquito poor marmalade yeah so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna dig up a video from a taller time that I did in college uploaded to YouTube but it didn't get flagged I'm gonna really care about it as much for like fix it or nothing because I just want to start getting serious about the YouTube thing um but it's a documentary I did while in college for a final project. Um, big up to everybody who helped me on this project. Uh, the credits today, so they can, if you know them, they can tag them and tell them I and tell them some of my posts it on YouTube and thing and thing. Um, it's a documentary on a youth called Andre Grant. He sells banana chips and bag juice and then the thing. Yeah, himself banana chips, bag juice and them little thing there. So, you know, put himself through school, get him bus fare, get him lunch money, them little thing there, you know, pay him school fee essentially, you see me? Um, so what I tried my best, me and the team, we tried our best to document that and showcase that and put that on a scale and you know. Here it is, watch it. If you like it, if you enjoy it, if you never like it, anything, any any feel I feel from the video, you know more I do. Drop it in the comment. I appreciate every single one of you so much. This is somebody make a comment say you want to feel like family. Trust me, this is more than me talking to a camera. I am in the comments daily, minutely, hourly. I am there. I want team and I want dream. You know, me got figure out a name for Carl. You know, you know if me and Jeff on the journey, Jeff, me have to find like a name for Carl, the family. You know, the family. What what we name? The subscriber them, all of uno, all of we what we name. So may I work on the name there. But for now, don't forget we are trying to get to 5k subscribers, you know. A little milestone. For the 4,300 and something. So see if we can get it up now. You know, if, if the video them nice, so sh tell your friends, tell your family. Yeah, tell the people them, make them subscribe. But anyway, today, watch the video here, feel the video here, enjoy the video here. And then we'll go again moving forward. Today is October 14th, so this is my day 14 entry for Blocktober. Thanks, guys. When I start with music, I think the hardest part would be to find the tuition and thing. When time reach, I find out to come to school every day, take a whole leap. I just want to talk about money, all of that. I'm saying I have to take three bus to come to school. That's $300. Three bus go back home. $600 for the day. I have to buy food. All them things there. So all that add up. So I start coming and find and say, well, I've got to do something for help. For you know, provide a little more power me I get for lunch money cause. Well maybe I get couldn't he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it at all. As in cherry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the more time I sell and thing, <laughs> what I like, like, but they run them and I sell some of them. When I just started, it, like, them didn't want to move because them they to draw attention to them and all of that, and people are wonder if I'm a student and all that, you know. But right now, they accept it and think of them no say that this me I do, you know, for help me come to school. But I just do it for a fun thing or not. This really, I can't come to school every day. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough, and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. That's kind of everyday picture for me. Wake up in the morning, so, oh gosh. I've got travel with a heavy bag here now, got school, from the bus and all of that. I mean, it's a good descent from my house, walk to the bus stop. So, I walk, lift up the heavy bag, then I'm walk, I'm sweaty and thing. Going on the bus, then the people are dropping, you know, I'm sweaty and thing. And you know, people now I'm sweaty, man, uh, sad of them and thing. You know, that's what I let my for do, up on the bus and thing. Reach a school, I walk through the gate, I see what the people are, I say, you know, what if I go able to sell enough things today? To make a little money for you, know, go back home and thing, buy lunch and thing. I mean, so it's not a guarantee every day I come here, it's not a guarantee, say, so money I go make. Because sometimes, some days are good days, some days. I go back home with all the past stuff. I still have to come back the next day and all over again every day. Struggles from my face, man, I be give thanks in a real life. In a real life. Even though I get started doing this, I, I actually <laughs> use somebody else as my inspiration. Someone who does the same thing or did the same thing that I'm doing now. He used to come here and I just see him walking around New Tech with. Him big bag and thing, yeah, them call him Walmart or Mega Mart, yeah, yeah, them call him. I used to see him I go to and I do the same thing and him tell me, hey, I saw him come to school every day. I used to buy from him every day and thing and thing. So him really look on and thing and I talk to him and him tell me, yo, just get one of them duffel bag here, man, and load it up or something and go to school and sell one. I say, at them time, they have milk or dressing bag. I say, boy, you know, that look rough. I can't bother walk around with them big bag and thing there. Yeah. Come and see him walking in sweaty and I'm like, no man, I don't want to do that. I just carry my little drawstring bag. I'm like, I'm drawstring bag, I'm like, could do well enough stuff. Profit's never enough to bring me every day and things. So, but that end up after taking my advice. I've matured a lot since then. When I just come here, I wouldn't, before I come to Utah, I wouldn't see myself doing this, basically. You know, when I come here, it's alright. Education is important. I could I say money never did every day if I send me come to school. I could have stopped coming to school and say, well, this is not work out, you know, money. Yeah, school fee can be able to can't go to school every day. I'm not going to get it from But I have to find a way to make things work. So I forgot I have to push myself. So right now, things are easy. You have to do whatever you need to do for push you. You see me? You can't just sit down every day and I hope to you. Things are gonna just get better. You have to get up and do something. You have to get up, you have to work, you have to push. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you are.
be careful. Don't stop believing. Morning, noon, and evening. Feed the foodless and save the unicorns. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff.